What is up, Taurus? Welcome to Psychic Renegade Tarot. I'm Bethany. So I'm doing a Zodiac series, just rapid reads. I'm going through the elements. I've done water, air, and you're the first of the earth signs. So I'm using my Modern Witch Tarot and Wisdom of the Oracle. And we're just going to pull out and see, pull cards and see what comes out. Yeah, that didn't sound right. Anyway, um, yeah, so uh, no announcements really. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I do loyalty giveaways every month. So as long as you subscribe, all you have to do to enter every month is comment on a video. It's really easy. That's always running. So yeah, it's just kind of like um, a continued thing for my subscribers. And then, yeah, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can go do that. You can email me if you want a personal reading, if you need more insight, as these are always general. So, so I do read the tarot, but um, I mainly use them to channel and not just reading the traditional um, meanings of the cards. I just kind of like use the cards as a jumping place uh, to channel messages. Queen of Swords. Taurus, you are, <clears throat> you're being fair. You're being fair about things. So in the past, if you've been in your emotions a little bit, I'm sensing that you're, um, you're finally in a place where you're ready to be fair about something. Let's clarify what this is. Look at this, Six of Pentacles. Um, I feel like this is just all your interactions, relationships. You might be finding an internal balance that is helping you look at things objectively and deal with people objectively. So whether you're dealing with someone you love, someone that annoys you, or someone that you just have to maybe take care of or something, um, I'm just giving examples, you're learning how to deal with all of those people respectively. So not giving away too much power or energy to the people that are draining you or that maybe you disagree with. Um, pouring in more authentic quality energy into the relationships you're realizing that you do value. This is the kind of things that I'm seeing. Judgment. This has come out in every reading and I think it's because, Okay, I'm pretty sure we're in Aquarius season and Aquarius is ruled by Saturn and just this card is Saturn energy to me. Um, and it's not, people get afraid of Saturn energy, like it's too harsh or too corrective. And it can be if your life is in shambles or needs a lot of help, things can fall apart to build up differently or build up better. Sorry, my eyelash is driving me crazy. Um, but sometimes this is just like a helping hand when you need it. It's like a karmic payout. Um, a karmic payout. So this is something you've been waiting for. Something you've been really needing. I feel like it's an emotional break or something. Like I feel like you've been on a hamster wheel is the energy. You've been on a hamster wheel for a while and you're just getting off or you're finding the energy to tackle this in a different way. I feel like you're just getting off of the hamster wheel. Um, two of Cups. So this could be a relationship, a new relationship or really good friendships and partnerships, but I see that like this balancing is really balancing out all areas of your life. And um, it feels like a breath of fresh air. Like I'm feeling like somebody like sighing, like, like the worst is over. Like you got through something that was pretty, um, I don't know what's wrong with me, you guys, but like, I've like, I fidget to the point where I, I don't even notice it sometimes. Like I, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I got issues, but if you see me fidgeting, it's just, it's just what I do. Um, okay. I'm going to clarify these more. We got the Queen of Swords, Six of Pentacles, Judgment, and Two of Cups. Your cards are like rough right now. Like maybe this is like, I feel like there's resistance in this. Like you know it's good for you and you feel good letting something go or dealing with something maturely. But part of you doesn't want to. Part of you wants to be petty. Part of you <laughs> wants to stick it to somebody is what I feel. The High Priestess, uh, you just know, you know your worth and, oh, I don't put these back. You know your worth, you know your worth with this energy here. It's, 
I know who I am. I know what I stand for. I know what I want. And I don't need you to see it kind of thing. So I feel like you're really standing in your power, Taurus. And you might also be leveling up. I feel like you might be learning something new or moving to a new level in your career. Um, or you are obtaining a new kind of wisdom. And this could just be like a new perspective on a relationship or an actual new skill or knowledge about a new subject. Queen of Wands, you might be coming into partnership <laughs> with a fire sign energy, or you might just have really good supportive female energy around you, around you right now. Um, yeah, for some of you, I feel like this is like mending friendships or mending colleague relationships or something of that, or it might be mending like a wound that stems back to your relationship with your mother. Um, the star and the hierophant, yeah. This is heavy, like, stepping into your own kind of energy. I feel like, uh, some part of you always, like, counted yourself out or really had, like, a, a sense of lack that you held on to. And maybe it's even, like, a small one or maybe you hit it. And maybe you didn't even like admit it to people, but I feel like there's a small amount of doubt or a lack mentality that you held on to. Something that you held on to, like a root of pain, a root of bitterness. Uh, and I'm not trying to say this in a bad way. I'm just saying there's something that you kind of hid inside that you didn't want to deal with. And you thought that you could ignore this and you thought that it didn't affect you, but you're realizing as... The years go on that something really did affect you and you needed to acknowledge this and overcome this demon so i feel like you're overcoming a personal demon that has affected your relationships or your own sense of worth or affected the types of relationships that you sought out or something like that and this could be romantic friendship business etc etc uh it's feeling romantic though with the it's feeling romantic with the two of cups, but this could be friendship too, because I'm just seeing a lot of like, colla not collaborations, but this could be your family or the women in your family or your friends, your friendships with females, or this could, this is like your own internal energy that was affecting your relationship with females, something like that. And I'm not, okay, shut up, Bethany. <laughs> I feel like I over explain sometimes. Uh, Ten of Swords. Yeah. Something really needed to die. Something ne needed to let go. Something needed to, like, break off of you. Um, a heaviness. Some kind of heaviness is what I feel. I feel like this could even be, like... For some of you, this is, like, a generational curse. For some of you, this is, like, childhood trauma. For some of you, this is, like, energy that someone else is putting on you or sending on you sending towards you but it was something pretty heavy and significant uh um ace of wands um somebody might have been blocking your abundance blocking your fertility blocking your creativity uh this could even be like somebody might have done magic to curse your family or your bloodline or something like that it feels very like deliberate it's weird uh it's weird energy it feels sticky i don't like it i don't like it it feels deliberate i don't like it all right the hanged one all right okay um this was a lesson <laughs> Don't hate me. Um, this was something that you needed to face and overcome. Maybe you were just destined to be the person to overcome this for your family. Maybe this is like you were destined to overcome this in yourself and um, to get past where other people in your family have gotten and to be able to be free and happy. Um, something, something. There's like... There's some way that something or someone or something internal 
or whatever whatever direction this influence was coming something was uh tying you down and in a negative way or in a sense of fear or failure um of being misunderstood not accepted not lovable uh this is getting kind of deep. Sorry, you guys. Um, I hope I don't say anything disrespectfully, and I don't mean to, and I also don't mean to be too serious. So I'm just trying to channel and make it make sense what I'm channeling. Uh, the world. The world. Page of Swords. Ten of Swords. What? Okay, this is what I got. The world, page of swords, ten of wands, three of wands. Uh, for some of you, you are meant to be pretty influential or you're meant to be maybe a public figure or even famous in some way or like um, a leader of some kind. I feel like you're meant to lead people in some way, in some capacity, whether it's a small group, big group, big audience. I feel like people look up to you in some way. You have like a leader energy and like an overcoming energy. And I feel like somebody was trying to block this. Someone was trying to block what was meant for you, your gifting and what your true calling is. Um, Somebody might have seen this talent in you as a kid and cursed you. Somebody might just be around you, seeing your potential in you and like hating on you. Or there might be just like a, your calling might be bigger than what you expect for yourself. And so you might be doubting it and kind of just um, blocking it yourself. So this might be like a, you're actually preparing for your own uh, I don't want to sound cheesy, but like destiny, like you're preparing for what you're meant to step into. And I feel like this is actually um, a significant role or position or leadership. Look at seven of pentacles, which is investing, growing, nurturing, planting the seeds of something amazing. So Taurus... <clears throat> I feel like you're defining your happily ever after, whatever that is. You are finding freedom to do that. I feel like you really are breaking through <clears throat> whatever this heaviness was that came out. Um, it's going to be different for all of you. Don't force anything, but if it resonates, it resonates. Um, but this is like really good healing energy. It's like you are you are getting over this. If it's a personal demon, it's something you're facing and conquering. Finally, <clears throat> you're acknowledging that it has some kind of effect on you and you just, you're, you're tired of it having an effect on you. So you're just going to face it so you can get rid of it. If it's like healing something with other women or a situation, or maybe with your mother or your family or something, <clears throat> uh, you might be like learning about like an issue you might be studying something that's helping you heal or you might be just like taking on new things and like stretching yourself growing your confidence and like breaking off an idea of lack because you whatever um because of whatever the case was i feel like i'm getting tongue tied all right chop wood never ending story <clears throat> happy happy I feel like for a lot of you, somebody cursed your family and it like, or there might be a, like a history of mental illness or a history of depression in your family. Um, and for some of you, this was actually like a curse. It was actually like done to your family and you're breaking this. Uh, for others, I feel like it's like you just weren't taught healthy patterns. Like you weren't taught how to take care of yourself, how to love yourself, how to be kind to yourself. And you just grew up in a lot of toxicity maybe. <clears throat> and like spirit is helping you rewrite your DNA. I feel like um, you're rewriting patterns and you're writing, rewriting thoughts. You don't want to be in this like cyclical energy that's toxic. So some of you are literally like learning how to be happy. Um, yeah, yeah, okay. You're learning how to be happy. That's awesome. 
I feel like it's like scary to you because you just you you were never modeled this. Come to the edge, fork in the road. Yeah. It's like what are you gonna do, Taurus? Like you're not your parents, you're not you you're not them, you know, like you, you actually can change your DNA, that's science. Um there is ways to do that. And you're a different person, you're made a different way. Um you can make different choices. So if it's something like that, um, I feel like you're just coming to this realization that like, I can do things differently. I can go a different way. I don't have to repeat the same mistakes that my parents did. Um, you know, I can take a chance on myself to be fair. Be fair to yourself. Like you don't have to live by other people's limitations or expectations or anything be fair to yourself um okay a couple more cards building blocks buy the book milk and honey so if you don't understand something whether this is like you're trying to get out of your socioeconomic status or you're trying to like learn how to have healthier relationships or you're trying to learn how to love yourself or you're trying to learn how to Grow your finances so you can like give back to your family or some whatever it is. Um, building blocks. It's like you're learning. You're taking it step by step by the book, and it'll lead you to your milk and honey. So it's like baby steps. This message keeps getting repeated through, but yeah, I'm feeling like baby steps. If something, if a goal is unattainable in your eyes and seems overwhelming, um, break it down. So. I feel like you, you're you ready to do this. So maybe you're just like taking the first step in something. Um, maybe you just started school, just started a new job, just started a new venture um, or business or relationship, or it's a mindset. Like you're just deciding, I'm gonna walk away from this past mindset. Five of Pentacles. I feel like you're leaving instead of you feeling left out in the cold, it's like you're leaving situations that make you feel left out in the cold. So it's like you want that loyalty, the dependability. Um, you want the res res reciprocity. <laughs> Is that a word? Yeah. You want the reciprocity. Like you want it. Um, you want to feel valued. Okay. Seven of Cups. So... You can get whatever you want, Taurus. You just need to put your mind to it. Um, yeah, this is the energy of like, you really do have choices. You really do have options. You probably have multiple talents. You probably could have multiple businesses or relationship options or yeah, everything. Like, so you probably have a lot more potential than you admit to yourself or that you're willing to admit to yourself. So I feel like... Um, don't sell yourself shirt, shirt. Don't sell yourself short and yeah, take a chance Taurus. So also if you feel like someone is messing with your energy, uh, try to take steps to protecting yourself. There's a lot of great options for that. And there's a lot of people that sell things to help with that. Um, I don't personally, but yeah, there's lots online. I would link some, but I make my own. I just don't sell them anyway. So, I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Oils, tinctures, that kind of thing. I would at least, like, light some candles and, like, sage, uh, wear some crystals or something. I mean, do you. Do whatever you do. But, yeah. All right. Thanks, Taurus. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you thought. If you drop a comment, it enters you into my monthly giveaways. And, yeah. I think that's it. I'll talk to you later. Bye.